Okay, in this short video, I'm gonna show you how to lay out a common rafter. Um, so the first thing you would do is measure from the end of the board, you would come back three quarters of an inch. Now, from that point, you're going to put your, use the common number, and I'm gonna use the number eight, so I'm gonna put an eight common on this, and I would draw a line. So for the top of the rafter, that's common rafter, that's all you have to do. Measure back three quarters of an inch, and then put your slope on whichever slope you're going to use, all right? Now, for, to find the length of your rafter, um, let's say this is a, for a doghouse or something. So I'm coming, gonna come down here, 32 inches. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna come down to the 32 inches and on that 32 inches, I'm going to put my common eight. So this line and this line up at the top should be parallel. Now, I'm gonna measure up from the bottom uh, about an inch and three quarters, inch and seven eighths. Um, code says I can't exceed one third the width of this board for my bird's mouth, okay? So if I measure from here five and a half inches, if I go one third of that, it comes out about one and seven eighths inches. So I measure from the bottom up. So if I come up inch and seven eighths, I'm still right there. I could come up as high as right there. Okay, and that would make this two thirds to my one third. It all depends um, on your slope and you don't want this point over here sticking past the end of the stud. So if you're using a two by four, you, this distance from here to here should not exceed three and a half inches. So you have to kind of play with it to see how high up you can go. Um, so once I've decided the depth of my bird's mouth, then I'm gonna make a perpendicular line. So then this would get cut out. Uh, sorry about this other line that was already on here. Um, so that would get notched out. And then you could leave whatever tail you have left on the bottom, okay? So that's how you would lay out a common rafter. Okay.